initially, um, lots of people will, will say to you, you know, w did you read lots of books when you, when you were a young boy, that kind of thing. Well, uh, I, have to, I have to hold my hands up and confess that I was not a great reader when I was, when I was a young boy. I did read, but what I tended to read were things like um, the DC comics, the uh, Marvel comics, um, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, all that kind of thing. I absolutely adored those sorts of things. And I was introduced to reading, really, by a very good teacher um, at school. Uh, one day I, I got into a trouble in, a, in, a, in an English lesson. I was just sitting in the lesson and our teacher was reading to us from Shakespeare, who of course is a very famous English author um, and uh, all American kids are, at some point are going to get introduced to Shakespeare. And I was just sitting in the class and I was a little bored and I was twiddling my thumbs round and round like this. And my teacher came up to me and closed his book, came round behind me and he didn't hit me with the book but he sort of went bang above my head like that. I jumped about 30 feet into the air, you know, and he said to me, he said, can't you do anything but twiddle your thumbs like that boy, you know, kind of thing. And I was very cheeky. I said, yes, sir, I can twiddle my thumbs like that. I went the other way around, you know. So, of course, I got a nice detention for that. And if you got a detention at school, you were always sent to the library for punishment. Now, librarians hate this story, of course, because, you know, the library is not a place of punishment. So he, uh, he sent me off to the library. And there was uh, a particular teacher on duty that day who was kind of half teacher, half librarian sort of thing. And his, his punishment was to make you read for an hour. And he sat me down and he said, right, you're going to read for an hour. But you were not allowed to read the book of your choice. You had to read the book of his choice. So he sat me down and, as I say, he put a book in front of me. And we always talk about not judging a book by its cover. Um, but he put a book down in front of me that had a, a picture of a woman in a lacy bonnet and a long flowing gown on and all that kind of thing. And I was 14 years old and I looked at this cover and I sort, sort of went, no way, <laughs> I'm not going to read that. He said, well, you're here for an hour, you read it, and you know, tell me what you think. Um, and it, it was Pride and Prejudice. Uh, so I read the first few pages of Pride and Prejudice, and I actually got hooked onto the story. And he said to me, if you like the story, why don't you take it out and read it? And I said, if I take that out, I'll be beaten up by my mates. No one's going to like that kind of thing. So, um, but I did, I hid it in my bag, I took it, I read it came back and he introduced me to many, many other things and, and eventually actually on to fantasy. I read the Tolkien books of course and lots of boys and girls will say to me, what's your favourite book that you've ever read? And my favourite book is still The Hobbit and of course what's on the front cover of The Hobbit? A lovely big dragon guarding his treasure.